Hey guys, it's Rob here again today. So today we got another review of a rebuildable tank atomizer. So uh, this rebuildable tank did come from focalsigs.com and I will put a link in the description down below so you guys can check out their website. I've been checking out their website. I have gotten a few items from them and I've been checking them out. They, they do have real good prices and they do have some uh, some really great neat little products and stuff like that. They come out with uh, the products, come out of pretty pretty good I mean pretty good products they look good quality's good on them they work real well they do what they say they do they, now these are clones so this rebuildable tank that I'm going to do right now is the Typhon or Tayfun GT G2 uh, GT version 2 right here as you can tell this does have the glass tank here stainless steel and you can see where it says Typhon, Typhon GT2. So this is the GT2 version. Have been vaping on this for a while. This is adjustable airflow on the sides. It does have the adjustable airflow ring. It's real nice. It's got the chimney, glass tank. Come with the drip tip, the whole nine yards. Come with everything you see on this. Real nice little tank. So let's go ahead and dive down on the table here. We'll take a look at all the stuff that did come with. We'll have it take it apart and we'll see what it looks like. All right, guys, here we are down on the table with the Typhon G2. So here's the box that did come in. Nice little metal aluminum style can, and it does have the Typhon on there, the Typhon. All right, nothing else on here. I say I call it Typhon. Some people can call it Typhon. It's your preference, whatever you want to say what it is. So here we go, we open it up and it does come with some extra O-rings and an extra insulator and no screwdriver or anything like that, just a bunch of all the extra O-rings. And there it is inside the canister, it does come with this nice little foam, styrofoam here to keep it safe and shipping, packaging and all that. And we pull it out and here you go, this is the Typhon or Typhon GT2 right here. And as you can tell, it is a stainless steel, and this is polished. This, this is really not a polished, it's a, like a brushed type of fit here. It is not a fingerprint magnet, as you can tell. It doesn't like really shine or anything. It's kind of more like a brushed. So on here, you do have your number here. So this is number, let's see what it is, 630. So this is number 630 right there and then over here it does say Typhon GT2 on there so it is different looks a lot different than the uh, first one and this is the clone but it looks pretty identical to the uh, original so as you see here you do have your air slot holes here you do have five holes on this side that is wide open and then you also have five holes on this side as well and you can just turn this here and turn down some of the juice flow here so you go three two one so you go down to two and then you'll have two on the other side as well go ahead and turn that back up I like it wide open this does even at wide open you do still have a, a pretty good tight tight draw uh, that's why I do have it wide open so for those people that really like a little bit of a tight draw and they want a tank that's going to hold about three and a half to four mils of e-liquid this would be a good tank for you it does have a knurling top here so you can grab a hold of it and take this take unscrew this apart here so let's go ahead and take it all apart and we'll see what this is all about here i did take the cotton out of this and but i do still have the coil in here so let's go ahead and take this all the way, all the way apart so you guys can check this thing out it is a little bit juicy so we'll go ahead and take the top part of the tank. The glass is removable. You can remove the glass, clean it up, put it back in. And the drip tip is removable as well. As you can tell, it fits in there nice and tight. You don't have to worry about that one wobbling around. And then there is your tank. You can take the glass tank out as well. Clean this off a little bit. It is does have some juice on this. So 
there we go so there's all the pieces it does have uh, one two three four five six seven pieces to this and that is everything that it did come with move this back a little bit there you go as you can tell so you do have your little drip tip here it does come with two nice little o-rings and as you can tell they were nice and tight and it does have this little knurlings here so you easy to grab and then it does have the engraving of the or laser etched of the Typhon GT2 right there nice little drip tip uh, as you can tell in there this is not a wide bore or wide mouth and then you have your next piece that the drip tip does go into the top cap is you, you have an o-ring here and you do have a nice little o-ring there and this is all one piece right here all one piece together it does have knurlings at the top like i said before so you can unscrew it from the tank easy access and works real well let's go ahead and put the drip tip back into that part there and then you do have your glass tank here now this is got the uh it's like a I don't know, like the coating on there. I I don't I forget what they call that, but that is some kind of coating on there. Frosted. It's like a frosted glass right there. All right. And then you have your stainless steel sleeve here, the part of the tank that also protects the glass frosted glass sleeve or glass tank part. It does have a nice little O-ring down in there as you can tell, a nice black O-ring threaded on top and bottom. So this thing only goes in one way. You cannot get the glass tank in from the bottom. You can only get it in from the top. So we'll go ahead and put that in. So that's real nice that we're able to take that out and clean it. And then the top piece here will hold that tank in and seal it down to the O-ring down there at the bottom. So that's nice and sealed now. The tank's not going to leak. And then you have your little chimney parts here. You do have your uh, bottom part of the chimney, and then you have your top part of the chimney. As you can tell, there is threads on the inside of this. And the top part of the chimney does thread into there with a little O-ring. And your cotton wick does hang out the side holes right there. And then here we go with the base, as we talked about before, there's your adjustable airflow, one, four, five holes on each side. You do have O-ring right here to seal the outside of the tank, and then you do have some smaller O-rings here to seal the chimney on the tank. And then you do have your air hole in the center up underneath that coil, as you guys can tell. And I do have a little build on here. I do believe this is 26 gauge, about seven wraps, uh, around an eighth inch diameter pole pole so there you go two phillip head screws they are real small screws so you will have to use a small screwdriver but works real well i have not had any issues with this thing this thing has not leaked on me or anything like that uh works real well and i like the idea that you can fill the tank all the way up you just fill the tank up to the to that top part of the chimney housing there and then you put your bottom out your deck and everything on there and flip it over and it'll be ready to go so let's go ahead and uh, put some cotton in this thing here clean this off we're gonna go ahead and put that on the put that on the SMY 260 no I don't use 260 watts I do you do use about I I use this about 30 watts as you can tell 30 watts it is a 0.76 ohm we go ahead and dry fire this a little bit clean that up looks good nice little build on that nice and sturdy little build with that 26 gauge I believe that was like uh, might have been six, six, seven wraps 26 gauge so let's go ahead and put ourselves a piece of cotton on here so you guys can see how this works here with the cotton. I already got a piece of cotton already kind of unraveled here. So let's go ahead and cut this down. And then we'll go ahead and split this piece of cotton once again. And use that other piece for something else. 
I'll go ahead and get that wadded up here. Slide that into the hole here. Nice. Goes in and out, but it's nice and tight. It will grab plenty of juice. Alright. And then what I like to do is I go ahead and I push this up, kind of like a building a K fun or anything like that. Pull all that up there. And I like to keep this basically straight on there. Put that, turn it. I like to line up the coils with that. Now we go ahead and put that there. I shove that down in the slots there. That's one thing I like about these slots. Move this around. I like to keep it pretty even with it. And then we'll go ahead and put on the top. Go ahead and thread the top down onto it. I can get the threads lined up right. There we go. And I go ahead and I tighten that down. Make sure everything's good to go. Uh, just like that. And then I do take the pair of scissors and I just like to cut them all the way basically flush just like that as you can tell they're pretty close to being flush and then I just kind of just kind of fluff them out so they can grab kind of pancake them out so they can kind of grab the juice so the juice can soak in real well a lot easier we'll do the same thing with this side just kind of pancake it out just like that and then we're going to put some uh, vape juice in there, some vape juice atmosphere juice in there. I hope I've been getting all this on the camera. Sorry if I didn't. And then we'll go ahead and put a few drops in the top here. And then I'll go ahead and put some on the sides. Go ahead and get the sides all juiced up. You don't want to go too much cotton, but you don't want it to have it way up in there because then... You, you'll get dry hits. Kind of get the cotton inside soaked up. Alright. So that's basically the build right there. As you can tell it does. I did flatten these sides out where the cotton was. Let's go ahead and fill the tank full of juice here. I can't remember a hundred percent, but I believe this is like three and a half to four mils. <clears throat> is what this thing will hold. Not remember a hundred percent. So we just go ahead and fill it up right up to the top of that. Just like that, as you guys can tell, I am pretty much right to the top of the top part of the chimney there. Go ahead and set that. That's one thing I like about that is I could just fill it up from the bottom, full access. You can use any bottle you want to fill this one up. You don't have to have a needle nose. Then we just take the bottom base and we flip it around here. And we just thread it right on on there. And there you go. Just like that. And as you tell, the juice all went to the bottom, getting air bubbles already. So yeah, should be good to go. And I like the idea of the glass tank so you can see as, you, as the juice is going down. And we'll go ahead and put that on here, on the mod here. Start it up. And then we'll 
bring it back up to the top and talk about it and vape a little bit more. So alright guys, we're back here at the top now. This was the review of the Typhoon GT2 or Typhoon GT2, however you want to say it. I've heard it pronounced two different ways. So we went ahead and we took it all apart. We showed you all the stuff it came with, all the pieces it was, how to put it together, how to fill it, what the coils are, how easy it is. It shows you everything there is. This is a great little tank right here and at focalsigs.com. Great prices. I believe this is uh I believe this was somewhere around 30 bucks, 26 bucks, something like that for the clone. And this has been working perfect. Now, one thing I said before is I do have all the airflow holes open on this, and still for me, I'm still it's still a little bit of a, a tighter draw. So, but if you're a type person that likes the tighter draw, this one will be perfect for you. This is a nice driving down in the car type of tank for me, so I don't have to drip while I'm driving. But I do really rather I do prefer a, a large amount more airflow than what this one does give me. But I do get good vapor production excellent flavor with this thing and it, it has decent airflow but i'm just used to the uh wide big airflow holes like 10 and 11 mil holes so let's go ahead and take a vape mm. as you can tell plenty of vapor production it has a decent amount of airflow excellent flavor just for me, I wish it just had a little bit more airflow. That's the only thing that I can find that uh, is a little bit of an issue for me. But if you're the type of person that likes that tire draw, and then this one, by all means, this would be a great little tank to add to the collection. Sorry guys, I will put a link in the description down below so you guys can check out focalsigs.com website. Great prices and some great products. Alright guys, till next time.